video to your August beginning of the month reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with you. In the beginning of the month, I did get the Lionsgate portals out. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, go ahead. If you're interested, it is up. I will be getting the meditation up real quick. I'll be doing that today right after these readings. So it should be up uh, between, well, yeah, today or tomorrow. But you can check out that video on my second channel, which is located, all the information is located underneath this video. So let's get in here and see what's going on with you. And happy birthday, Leo. My son's birthday is the 9th, so yeah, we'll be celebrating that. He'll be 20. Wow, time goes by really fast. Getting straight in here, look at that. you got the long-term view and hard work seven of pentacles coming out so what is it that you're looking at over here um, that you're working so diligently on right now it is time to plant those seeds we do have a very auspicious month right now so if you haven't started planting those seeds go ahead it is time to manifest look at that you got the magician coming out so i'm going to pull that with the chariot coming out next to it so definitely for what that new beginning so it says this right now is the time for you guys to start planting those seeds getting yourself into the knowing um and really uh, finding that destiny finding things that encourage you to really want to take this fool's journey right this new beginning having this new um wow those are all three major arcanas <laughs> i just like hold on one second yes Something that you can totally 100% trust on when it comes to where you want to set your goals. Um, wow. I mean, just look at that. You have the infinite possibilities over here for where you're going. All major arcana. I mean, that right there is something fantastic going on, guys, uh, for you. Traveling to the place where you can feel very spontaneous. It feels like things are coming towards you. Uh, even things that might be coming towards you that's out of the blue. I'm going to actually clarify on that Seven of Pentacles, the inference, time to co-create, time to manifest, time to get into your abundance and prosperity and really start planting those seeds for yourself as you're really going to have that victory coming in. So next to that is going to be the victory. The overall for that is victory, seeing that success, feeling that you are in that limelight, um, time to win. Okay. So what do we have going on here? Why are you winning? Because a lot of doors are opening for you at this time. You're going to find like there are a lot of choices going on within your situation where you're going to feel like um, as soon as things just kind of pop into your mind, you're really going to want to take action on those. No standing back, no looking right um, to deep at certain situations it's really about searching for that purpose it's almost like the deepness and the knowing is already within you it's just waiting for that that green light right waiting for that green light to say go it's go time we have the queen of wands i feel like i told you it was go time last time i don't know if it was you or leo virgo but i it feels like it was you but it, um but however it is, you're standing in your own energy as the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is an awesome card because the Queen of Wands is also a card of manifesting. She knows how to manifest things, kind of like out of just the thoughts. So she's saying, I have the courage and the willpower to just keep going on, finding that independence for life, knowing that whatever you're going after is going to bring in this beautiful vitality. And there's this, she's a very auspicious card in her own way. Um... Especially since she holds that sunflower, there is a mystery that's going on. So you might feel like some things within your life are a little mysterious. As so she's sitting there with that cat, she's holding that ace of wands, saying, "I have the fire within me to get this done." You might even be keeping it a little bit of a mystery or a little bit secret um, yourself from other people as you are moving towards this dream, moving towards this idea. Um, you know, as you're planting your seeds with the strength. There's so much Leo in this reading. It's like surreal, right? We have two Leo cards coming out side by side. Um, so it's saying you do definitely have the passion and the focus to get things moving for you, Leo. Um, this is not a time for you to, you know, 
wander away from anything without at least taking a good look at what it is you have. Okay. You have the creative spirit right now. You're in, you know, you're very creative. You know, you have all of this intuition. You are a magnet for great things. Don't tell me you're not a, a magnet for great things. Right now you are magnetized. Um, I don't know. I just see that they're making some kind of big impact when it comes to what you're truly passionate about. Really taking on leadership roles. If you're expecting some kind of ruling decision to go your way, right now is it's in your favor. You have both cards within the deck that have the infinite symbol over them. There's only two in the deck, the strength and the magician. So it's saying there is infinite possibilities for you to go it's almost like you are quantum jumping in your own way, taking those leaps of faith. You have, a, you know, all of these impulses going through you. And being that you're a fire sign and this impulsiveness that you do have, you can, like, trust the instinct and follow those impulse um, decisions. And really nurture them, take them on to make them your own abundance, make them your own prosperity so that you can truly win because your overall card is truly the triumph it's truly the victory it's truly setting out and trusting in this situation the more you invest the more you're going to thrive at this time this is just kind of clarify on the situation Everybody's place of where you're going to thrive, whether it's in love, career, you know, investing your money, whatever it is, you have the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is coming underneath the triumph, saying that whatever cycles and whatever changes you were looking for, you're, you're getting to where it is you truly need to be. You're on your destined path. The chariot is also a card of destiny. So whatever ups and downs it felt like you were trying to thrive through, if you felt like you were going through some kind of karmic cycle, um, maybe you even felt like something was against you, you're now breaking those boundaries. You're feeling like the, like the sun is at your back and that you have all this positivity. And the sun, once again, there's that Leo energy coming through again on the fool. Saying nothing can hold me down right now. Pack light because we're going on an adventure. Um, so when you're planting seeds, they don't even have to be a lot. You don't need to scatter the energy. Just like it's saying, pack light, right? Plant your seeds lightly, and you would be surprised how much you're going to gain access to as those as the seven of cups is opening up for you. And the more that you're daydreaming, and the more you're visualizing how you're setting your goals, the more you're going to find yourself, you know building those solid foundations, keeping your heart chakra open, really keeping yourself rooted to the ground, but keeping yourself in the knowing up here that I've got this and I know where I'm going. And, I, you know, as soon as you know where you're going, it's like you're not going to just plant seeds someplace you don't know where the hell you're going. You might not know what the outcome is. And that's fine. We don't always know the outcome, but we do know one thing. It makes a turning point to our life when we start taking action there. And it's saying wherever you're taking action at this time is actually going to improve the situation and you will celebrate in the end. The end is, has a happy celebration for you. And this creativity that's building and building and building around you is actually making more happiness. You could be getting yourself out into the community, finding that, you know, if you're opening a new job or something that you're having more people coming around you, you're collaborating more with others, you're gonna find more friendships, just watch yourself limiting beliefs. Do not become your own inner critic and do not allow any new perceptions of negativity to take over the positivity that you already have. Meaning don't swing that door so wide open to where you're going to feel like you're either feeling, like I said, you don't want to fill your suitcase too tight because it could bring in the negative thoughts um, because now you could say, maybe I'm taking on too much. Okay? Absolutely. This could have been, had something to do with, you know, after some kind of broken family, broken disconnection, domestic disharmony, 
um, whatever it was that you were struggling with, it's saying that you're having the Wheel of Fortune so that now you can have this brand new opportunity to start fresh. So whatever it was, you know, messing with you before and keeping you, making you feel like you're holding, you know, holding you back and you can't get your foot through the door, the universe has now got your back and saying, this is your time now, you know, this is where the struggle ends. But I need you, I need you to take the action to move forward on where it is you truly want to be. So start really thinking and planting those seeds right now, my friends, okay, so that you can see. It's like your, your birthday wish come true. I literally see that. There's so much accomplishment and so much fulfillment. If it's all about just travel and you want to travel and you've been trying to save all this money for traveling, now it's time for you to see the rewards in traveling and getting that saved to, you know, to, for that victory, whatever it is that you're, you know, you're trying to do because now is your time. Wow. I, I mean, that's literally all it is. Now it's your time to really think about what it is you want, what makes you truly happy. Temple of truth, your authentic self, use your self-expression. Do what makes you happy, what makes you comfortable, and move to that area where you feel like you can transcend for the, the happiness of your own journey. We're here for our own journey. What makes you happy, Leo? Okay, really see it clear. Really see it clear. Really use that inner vision and in saying, this is what I want, and this is where I'm going. Okay, karmic release. Like I said, you might have felt like you were in some kind of karmic trench or that you, you know, karma just, I just can't get out of this. I don't, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know what I did in my past life to deserve this or, or maybe I did something stupid a couple of months ago and it really, you know, I didn't listen to something or didn't do something or didn't jump quick enough and caused my own trenches, uh, my own bad, well, a lot of people say bad luck, right, which is karmic. Um, but it's like it's radically transforming for you into this place where you're clearing all that karma away from you, okay, and really being able to live in your truth and go where it is you truly need to be. And that's all it really is. It's all about just getting away from those negativities, you know, that so-called bad luck that we have, right, so we can have the renewals and really getting back to something else and taking that doorway to where it is we truly need to be for ourselves. So you're going to feel like you're right back on track, okay? And you do have the serious blessings, star blessings coming in, which I do love too because that's also a part of that lion's gate. Um, so having that yes coming through as you're really pushing through to that next level, you are definitely leveling up uh, for sure within your life, okay? What a beautiful reading for you, my friends. And until next time, got the green light. Let's go. Bye-bye.